Many say, I know about the apostles. You may know about the apostles, but do you know the apostles? The study of the apostles shows they are more than just men who follow Jesus. They are evangelists, authors, healers, martyrs, and living saints of the church. They can hear our prayers and intercede for the faithful. They are much, much more than most people realize. The Lord be with you. I'm Deacon Keith Fournier, Dean of Catholic Online School, inviting you to accompany me on our 12 Apostles' journey. St. John is called the beloved disciple in the Christian tradition. God's love is the theme which runs through the gospel he wrote. It is the framework for his letters or epistles to the early church. In his first letter, we read these beautiful words, and I quote, Beloved, let us love one another, for love is of God, and he who loves is born of God and knows God. He who does not love does not know God, for God is love. In this, the love of God was made manifest among us, that God sent his only Son into the world so that we might have life through him. And this is love. Not that we loved God, but that he loved us and sent his Son to be the expiation for our sins. Beloved, if God so loved us, we also ought to love one another. No man has ever seen God. If we love one another, God abides in us and his love is perfected in us. And that's from 1 John chapter 4, verses 7 through 12. St. John is the disciple of that love which is stronger than death, the love of the risen and glorified Jesus Christ, love incarnate. His gospel was the last to be written. It reflects the deepening theological reflection of the early church on the meaning of the conception, nativity, life, suffering, death, resurrection, and ascension of Jesus the Christ. His three letters found at the end of the New Testament were written from Ephesus. Ancient tradition tells us he did not die a martyr's death, but lived to the age of 94 and died in Ephesus. He is also the author of the last book of the New Testament, the book of Revelation, also called the Apocalypse. He wrote down the vision which is contained in that powerful book while imprisoned on the island of Patmos. St. John was a witness to the resurrection. Not only did he walk with the Lord Jesus, rest his head on the chest of the Lord during the last meal, stand at the second tree, the cross on Golgotha's hill right next to the mother of the Lord. But he also rushed to the empty tomb and witnessed the implications of the triumph of love over death in the resurrection. We are called to both emulate and imitate the beloved disciple John as we live our Christian witness in an age which desperately needs to hear and see the love of God made manifest in Jesus Christ through our words and our deeds. Like John, you too are called to an apostolate. Part of that mission is to help us teach others the richness, beauty, and tradition of our Catholic faith. You see, there are tens of thousands of families who need to know Jesus. They need to know about their faith. We are asking you to honor the 12 apostles by joining in their ongoing apostolic mission of the whole church. How? by praying, learning from St. John, saying yes to the call of Jesus in your own life, engaging in the mission to evangelize and teach the faith, and by giving $12 a month. The mission of Catholic Online School is to provide a free, world-class Catholic education for anyone, anywhere. We're nearing one million, yes, one million student enrollments from 193 countries worldwide. Please, contribute $12 a month to support this apostolate. Visit ycvf.org. That's ycvf.org.